here with Mr. Ryan. Now, we're going to warm up our bodies because it's really important to warm up our bodies before we learn something new. So we can learn something new together. Now, I have my trusty horse here, Mr. Benton. Who do you have today with you, Ryan? This is Chair. Chair. Okay. Mm -hmm. His horse's name is Chair today, friends. So, what we need you to do is we need you to stand on up if you can and turn your chair around like Mr. Ryan's and then name your horse because you have to be able to participate too in our warm-ups. Okay, you think they're ready yet? Me! I think they're ready. We're going to do some arm circles today, friends. So arms go straight out to our side like the letter T. And are we going forwards or backwards, Ryan? Backwards. Backwards. Okay, we're going to do 10 backwards arm circles. That means our hands are going towards our horse's tails. Okay, here we go. One. One. Two. two three, three. Four. four five. Six. six Seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. All right, since we've gone backwards, we have to go forward. So towards our horse's ears now. Okay, you ready to count, Ryan? I'm ready. Here we go. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Whew, my arms are warmed up. Are your arms warmed up? They are. All right, friends, let's learn something new together. Welcome, friends, to this episode of Barn Buddies. It's Miss Kayla again, and I have my friend Toby here with me today. Now, we're super excited because we're starting a mini series. So, what we're going to do is we're going to learn all about the different breeds of horses that we have here at Lovewood. Now, before we can start talking about specific breeds, we need to start learning about how we classify breeds of horses. Now, that means how we group different breeds of horses. And there's three groups. There's the hot-blooded category, there's the cold-blooded category, and there's the warm-blooded category. Now, why is that important? Well, it's important to know how we group our horses and so we can know their characteristics and their personalities and how they might react to things so we can better understand them and better work with them. So, get ready. We're gonna start learning about the three different groups of horses. All right, friends, now that we've talked about why it's important that we know how to classify our horses, let's talk about the three categories. So, the first one is hot-blooded horses. Now, Gypsy here is a hot-blooded horse. So, some characteristics of a hot-blooded horse is that they're narrow, they're smaller in size, I like to call them fun-sized horses, and they have thinner bones. So see how her legs are kind of skinnier and more narrow? <clears throat> and they have a small head, and then their personality-wise, they are very curious, and they have lots of energy. So those are some things to think about when you're around your horse, trying to decide if you think it's a hot blood or not. Now let's move over and talk about the second category, which is cold blood. So come over here with me. Ham is a cold blooded horse. Now, cold blooded horses have, they're bigger in size. If you can't tell, she's pretty big here. And they're definitely wider than a hot blooded horse. And they have thick bones. See how big her legs are? Now, cold-blooded horses have very calm, cool, collected personalities, and they are very kind. So if you look at Pam, she has a really nice, kind eye, and she just looks very kind. And that's one of the personality traits of a cold-blooded horse. So now that we've talked about the hot-blooded horse and the cold-blooded horse, Let's talk about the last category, which is a warm-blooded horse. So I'm going to go get uh, one of our warm bloods and we're going to look at the differences between these two and Toby. So here we go. Friends, our third and final category is a warm blood. So Toby here is a warm blood. Now a warm blood is a mixture between a hot-blooded horse and a cold-blooded horse. So. Let's talk about the different things that Toby here as a warm-blooded horse gets from the hot-blooded horse and from the cold-blooded horse. So start with our hot-blooded horse. And a hot-blooded horse 
like Gypsy has, remember they have the thin bones and they're narrow and they were very athletic. So he, a warm-blooded horse, has those same things like a hot-blooded horse. But then they also, like a cold-blooded horse with Pam, have the height, so they're taller, and they have the calm personality, and they have the kind eye. So if you come back here to Toby, you can see he is definitely taller than Gypsy as the hot-blooded horse. And he has the thin bones like the hot-blooded horse. He has the height like the cold-blooded horse, and he has the kind eye like the cold-blooded horse. So a warm-blooded horse, remember, is a mixture between a hot-blooded horse and a cold-blooded horse. All right, friends, today we are gonna do a speed event. So speed is one of the things that hot-blooded horses are bred to do. So that's to go really, really fast. So. I am on sprinkles and today we are going to do pole bendings. What we're going to do is we're going to run all the way down by the brown pole. We've browned a pink, we've pinked a brown, and then run home. Here we go. Blooded horses are used for farm work and plowing. So today we're gonna watch Mr. Ryan long line Pam, one of our cold blooded horses. Now, long lining is gonna look a little silly, but basically he's gonna be pretending like he's plowing with Pam. So let's watch and see what it looks like. Alright friends, we are now going to learn about what warm bloods were bred to do. And they were bred to be super athletic, like a hot blooded horse, but to have more of the calm, collective personality, like the cold blooded horse. So, one of the things that horses that were bred to be athletic can do, is they can walk, and they can trot, and they can canter, which are called gates. And those are different speeds that the horse goes at. So we're going to watch Miss Brooke and Dolly, who Dolly's a warm blood. We're going to watch them walk, trot, canter, and see what that looks like. So let's go watch. All right, friends, now 
that we've learned about the three groups. We've talked about the cold bloods, the hot bloods, and the warm bloods. Let's talk about the map behind me. Now, these different types of horses come from all over the world. So, in the next couple of episodes, when we talk about specific breeds of horses, we're gonna come back to this map and learn where they originally came from. So I want you to get ready and excited for that. Now, I hope you had as much fun as I did learning about the differences between cold, hot, and warm-blooded horses. So stick around and let's read a book. Hello friends, this is Ryan from Loveway and I'm here again with my friend Toby. Hi Toby. We're gonna read a story today called Llama Llama Red Pajama. Let's begin. Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Ooh, that kind of rhymes. Mama kisses baby's hair, Llama Mama goes downstairs. Wow, looks like they're getting ready for bed. Llama Llama Red Pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Ooh, I think he wants a drink too. Mama's at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama Red Pajama calls to his llama mama. Mama says she'll be up soon. She's washing dishes. And baby llama hums a tune. Tune. Llama llama red pajama waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby llama starts to fret. Remember he's waiting on that drink of water. Llama Llama Red Pajama whimpers softly for his mama. Mama Llama hears the phone. Baby Llama starts to moan. Wow, this is getting exciting. Llama Llama Red Pajama listens quiet for his mama. What is Llama Mama doing? Baby Llama starts boo-hooing. Wow. Toby, do you know what that is? I don't know. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Can you see that? He is in bed hollering with his mouth wide open. Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Oh my, what is happening? Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn up over his face. What if Llama Mama's gone? Llama Llama, red pajama, weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama, Mama, Llama, run, run, run. Oh my, there's no words here, but he is running. And here comes Mama Llama and all kinds of stuff going on. Baby Llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes Mama's very busy. Please stop all this llama drama and be patient for your Mama. Little Llama, don't you know, Mama, La Mama Llama loves you so. Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. And the Mama Llama is putting the baby llama in bed again. Mama Llama, red pajama, gets two kisses from his mama. Snuggles pillow, soft and deep. And soon, Baby Llama goes to sleep. Wow, that was quite a story. Toby, what do you think? 
think he was impressed. All right, you guys have a good day. Bye.